across London in the last five years, there's been a 7% increase in the looked after children population. There's significant evidence that the life chances for looked after children populations are significantly worse than their peers in a range of areas like education, health, behaviour. So there, there's a real imperative to change that and to prevent young people going into care in the first place. This project began back in 2014 when the Greater London Authority received some development money to work with London boroughs to look at how we could work collaboratively um, on outcome-based commissioning. The reason for doing an outcome-based programme was around that real focus on the delivery and the impact on the individual young person. So the partnership consists of five London boroughs, with each borough leading a different element. Plus the Families Partnership is a collaboration between partners who are all there with the same goal of helping families stay together. The delivery um, consortium is comprised of Family Action, uh, Family Psychology Mutual and South West London and St George's Mental Health Trust. When children cannot identify themselves with their parents, they look for other people to identify with and that's when they get into gangs and stuff like that. So we work very much on the relationship between the parents and the children uh, in order to um, improve the communication and help them to think about other ways of interacting. Our ultimate aim is to keep young people out of care. Um, so 11 to 17 year olds, keeping families together and for kids' behaviours to improve to the point where parents are able to keep them at home. We um, work with parents to assess the behaviours, look at the systemic reasons why the behaviours are occurring and then develop interventions with parents to tackle the young person's behaviours at home, at school and in the community to try to reduce the behaviours from happening. None of our providers would have been able to take on this contract and deliver it fully on their own um, and therefore having Positive Families Partnership in the centre coordinating that delivery enables participation of right delivery partners but also enables our commissioners to hold one entity to account. Data is really key, it really enables us to think about what are the most effective things to focus on and it drives that continuous action loop of improvement. So this has been very different to all of the other contracts that we've had. There's been a real focus on, on partnership working to make sure that the service that we're offering meets the needs of all the boroughs with a real focus on that performance data. The partnership was built in a way which allows other London boroughs to, to join and we've already had a huge amount of interest from, from other boroughs already. It's become increasingly difficult for local authorities to finance this kind of preventative and early intervention care. That's why this project is a real opportunity for the London boroughs that are participating in it.